even below starry skies, or with the night of a bright full moon, the world is still in the spell of darkness. Until the coming of the first morning's light, darkness is swept away. The better day begins with the crack of dawn. Uncertainty that floods and feeds his life and all of nature as well. And he must know how to deal with it, which the world of Buddhism knows well as the law of karma. Yes, it is the exact result of one's performance and the cycle of life. Contemporary ordination is the most welcomed in Buddhist society. All men at the age of 20 should receive a formal ordination at least once in his lifetime, and it should be for three months during the rainy season. It is to pay gratitude to his parents and his cousins. All members of the family, cousins and friends, are pleased with this performance and it is especially for himself to learn about the truth of living nature circling under the law of karma it will be for three months that he will be without any boundaries free and will have plenty of time to gain wisdom from the most accepted theory of practical truth Buddhism transforms the atmosphere into a feeling of ease, fun, and happiness for cousins, friends, and the person who will be ordaining as a monk. The person may ordain alone or ordain with others who are there for the same purpose. Or it could be of an aristocratic nature in Buddhist society that will tune the atmosphere to a tone of serenity. The atmosphere will be filled with a feeling of solemn peace that is blended well with sweet serenity, joy, and happiness. The smiles of happiness are everywhere. It is great when men decide to ordain as monks. It will be a most precious memory for them. Yes, the families and society do hope their men will acquire the wisdom to negotiate the uncertainties of a living nature in the cycle of the law of karma. In Buddhism, the belief is that real wisdom, hidden deep within us, is the only tool 
to achieve or to negotiate with the strength of the law of karma, which governs every life on earth and in the universe. Then, before stepping up as the leader, before placing himself in the role of leader of family or society, man should understand how to deal with the law of karma. And at the same time, he should learn how to bring himself to walk along the path of truth, which leads him to the station of wisdom. the source of risings and fallings, and the cycle of birth and death. This is all possible when he is free from boundaries, which will occur as soon as he wraps himself with a saffron robe. Becoming a monk is not easy. It is not just a change of attire. It is only after several days of training and approval by the trainers that he can then change his attire to become a novice. This is the time when he will learn to lead a life of limits with the items of necessity. Luxury as a man of masculinity is no more. Several days of being a novice after becoming familiar with the limited life in the boundaries of the saffron robe, another greater step is performed. This step goes very far. It is an advanced step. The novice will step out of the rule of 10 precepts to the more advanced rule of 227 precepts. It is very hard but they feel very proud and happy to walk through it. 227 precepts. Those are the precepts of a monk. As a life concerned only with the true inner existence that will guide the entire being. Every novice should be quite prepared and certainly it will be the most exciting moment of his life. Every man of Buddhism is very proud to earn this precious and memorable moment for at least once in his lifetime. as soon as the men become the sons of the Supreme Lord of Truth, the Buddha Sakyamuni. They are not our sons. They belong to the empire of Buddhism. They all are sons of the Lord Buddha. Buddhists believe that the first donation to a new monk is the best thing to do, no matter the sum of money or the type of offering. If it is from the heart of true faith, all are welcomed.
with a strong appearance of masculinity, they gradually learn to transform their feelings to a station of peace and wisdom. They gradually learn how to keep their wandering mind inside. They can finally earn themselves the true feeling of relaxation and inner peace. They should know how to deal with the moving world and the wheel of change. No matter what they are, no matter who they are, the seeds of wisdom have been planted within. Wisdom is not found on the outside. Wisdom is not found in a textbook. Wisdom is not from health or wealth. Wisdom is found inside and radiates only from its station. It can only result from meditation. before taking the next step as the head of household, society, and the country. It is a stream of sunlight. It is a flow of the glittering golden light. It is an endless flame in the fire of wisdom. Each of them will be a man, a true gentleman of masculinity, who naturally understands the art of giving, soft-heartedness, and kindness. All are tools to negotiate the cycle of uncertainty, and wrapping every living being in this planet we call Earth and the universe. Allow your men the right to walk smartly in the stream of glittering golden robes, the robes of golden fire, the fire of wisdom. He will then become a man of endless flames, a man of wisdom who can live a happy life in the cycle of the law of karma. It is so nice to meet again with all of us in order to learn the culture, the philosophy, and the wisdom of the Oriental, especially in the Buddhism. This is Together with Buddhism program, and let's enjoy the new knowledge that we are sharing to each other today. Life is a journey since the first day of our birth and we have to take a trip throughout the life until the last day of our breath. During the journey of our life, it is like traveling along the river of rise and fall. Life is up and down. 
And meditation is also a journey. It is the only thing that aging doesn't apply. The more we take the journey inside, inward, we get more and more happiness where aging is not any matter at all. Now, uh, let's take a trip to the turning point as we have learned uh, before. And I hope you would like to meditate together with us right now. Are you ready? Take a good sitting position. Choose where you want to sit quietly with your own self. And then we gradually close the eyes. We can take a good deep breath in order to bring in all the freshness. And on the way out of the breath, we take away all the discomfort inside. We can repeat this process for a few more times. Deep in and way out. Feel the end of the in breath that is below the lungs down to the middle of the abdomen. The far end of the in breath is a turning point. That is the point where the in-breath turns out-breath. Feel it softly. Feel the existence of the turning point inside. We can call this the station of peace. This is a journey inward, together with the in-breath, and then the mind is standing still, right inside the abdomen, right at the turning point. Stay inside. Allow the mind to stay inside motionlessly. It will move less and less. And finally, it will be landing very softly at this station of peace. Allow the mind to be still softly. Being inside, the feeling is endless. We are the center of our own horizon. Looking around 360 degrees all around. It is our body that is the center of the horizon. Enjoy the feeling, enjoy the being, the center of the horizon 360 degrees. Once we feel this, the mind is even more still, right inside, very quietly.
visiting the turning point allow the moon to shine in the mind thinking of the full moon allowing the moon to pop up and shine in the middle of the body the moon is shining bright in the mind it is like we are showered we are bathed by the silvery moon thoroughly The moon is decorated by a little bright dot of the star right in the center. That bright dot of the star glitters right in the center of the shining moon. This dot is the connection of the inner journey before taking a journey inside we get connected with the bright dot of that glittering tiny star enjoy the existence of the star in the center of the moon that is in the middle of the body and the body is a center of our own horizon feel it the being the existence of the bright star in the middle we use the feeling of being in the center we don't use any force at all allow the mind enjoy the existence of the bright star The feeling of expansion may arise. Expanding is the radiation of the brightness from the inside. It is the soft touch of being center upon center. The center upon the center the previous center is expanding or radiating outwards and we gain an access to another center this is a center upon the center deeper and deeper in this is the start of the journey inside it happens solely in meditation the happiness and peacefulness that arise from meditation will enable us to survive 
in the life along the tide of rise and fall. We will be always young, no matter how long, how much time that has passed by. To keep young, to keep alive, to survive in the tide of rise and fall is easily achieved if we meditate every day. Then we always stay in the middle, enjoying the bright dot in the center of the centering moon and stay with it for a little while. Enjoy this precious moment for a little while. So remember, every time we get exhausted by the journey outside, give ourselves a chance to come in. The journey inside is always our best friend, giving us peace and happiness deeper, deeper in, centering upon the center upon the center. This is the way we start our journey inward. And remember to do meditation every day for the benefit of our own self. And once we are ready, gradually we can count down from three to zero and slowly Open up. Hope you enjoy your journey inside. And until we meet again next week, we should, you should practice meditation and make your journey as often as possible until we meet again for the better enjoyment together. Have a good time in meditation. สวัสดี